Hello again, gamers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Captain. I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be reviewing and showing you how to play Dodeca, a game published by Coiled Spring Games and designed by Andy Hopwood. Uh, before we get started, I do want to give a big thank you to the designer, Andy Hopwood, who sent me this copy of Dodeca to be able to play and try out and film some content with. Uh, also, I'd like to direct you to check out links in the description below at your convenience to my merchandise store over on Teespring if you want to get yourself some cool gamer gear, as well as my Patreon if you're in a position to would like to help out the channel, and also a link to BoardGameCaptain.com, uh, free to join and a great hub for all things Board Game Captain. So there's not a huge amount to talk about here. It's got um, two to six players, mm -hmm. ages six and up. And it's a 20-minute game. What are your thoughts on these? Um, I think the player count is fine. Yeah, it plays well at all player counts. I agree. Uh, the time is fine also. Um, I don't... I think... Six I mean, a six-year-old could probably play it, but it won't... I don't know. I don't think I would have fun playing this game with a six-year-old. Okay, but would you have fun playing any game with a six-year-old? No. <laughs> so that, that's not a barometer. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I mean, I, the point is, can a six-year-old get it? Get it? Maybe. I, don't I mean, know. it's, it's it got very simple young. rules. I mean, yeah. the rules, uh, the, uh, you're pushing your luck. You're trying to go for one suit over other suits. It doesn't seem overly complicated. I think a six-year-old could get it. It, it seems... Uh, I mean, think about, like, when you were six, what games were you playing? And they'd be very basic card Fantasy games and board Forest. games. That's fair. But, I, th I mean, like, game, when, when I was six, I was playing games like Checkers and maybe Rummy. I mean, this isn't more complicated than Rummy. Okay. Do you think? I, mean, I, I guess not. And then all the components are just cards of various suits. I do want to draw attention to the fact that I do like the look of the suits, though. They're made to be kind of elemental in appearance because you have, like, a fire suit... And there's like a, a water suit. It's like ice. And then is it well? It's yeah. got a water droplet. Yeah, but it's, it's icy. A, well, they're all yeah. And then th this one I think is is basically wind. And then uh, there's a star one. And um, mountains. mountains. Earth. 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 Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of elemental plus one sort of thing. Um, yeah, these are really cool looking cards. The cards themselves, uh, they're quite nice. They feel thick and resilient and they are linen finish and i'm a fan of the production of the cards but that's really all there is to the components is these cards what do you think do you like the um yeah they're fine all right so we're going to jump in we're going to show you how to play this game we're going to come right back we're going to talk about how this game plays and how it feels and we're going to rate it and review it okay so here we are ready to play a three-player game of dodaka uh, I'm over here, and I'll be controlling both my own hand and a hand of cards for a imaginary player on uh, on this side of the table. And I am over here, and I will just be controlling my own cards. So for the game of the deck, you shuffle up the deck, you deal up three cards into the draw here, which these are the three cards we have dealt up. And uh, then, you know what, Lynn, why don't you go first? So on Lynn's turn, she has to decide if she wants to take the card closest to the deck or deal another card up which she's going to choose to deal another card up. Now, in dealing another card up, uh, the only worry you have to have is if the total numbers of all the cards go above 12. So right now, we have a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There was no real worry of that. And she didn't want to start taking uh, the yellow card because there's not, I guess there's not a lot out there and it's a fairly low number. It's only a 2. Because what you want to do is you want to get a lot of cards in your hand of a single suit uh, that are going to be worth a lot of points at the end for scoring. And right now, I guess it was too early. Lynn didn't want to take one yet. Uh, if you bust and go above 12, you take all the cards from here. And then if ever the draw is empty, you deal three cards up to replace it. So the second player decides they're going to deal another card face up as well. It's a purple card. And now we are up to 11. So now it is, it is my turn. <laughs> And my worry is that I might bust because I'm at 11. So I don't want to. I'm going to just take the yellow, pull, pull it into my hand. Everything slides down, and it's back to Lynn's turn. Lynn took the four of the red. Now, it was the only red out there, but 
it was a four, and a four is a very, very valuable number. It is the highest possible card in any suit. Now, the third player, seeing two purple cards out there, actually, even though it's only a one, decides they are going to take the purple one and slide it down. I am going to draw another card up. So it's going to go from a four to a seven, and then back to that. That's six. Oh, excuse me. Three, four, five, six. You're correct. Six. And then it is back to Lynn. Now it's seven. Now it is seven. <laughs> uh, the third player is going to deal up. Now it is eight. And I'm going to deal up also. Now it is 11 to Lynn. Well, <laughs> I never. Oh, I think you have. <laughs> Oh, you're going to push it? Now, if Lynn deals and it goes over 12, she may bust. But if she, this last card in the draw here was a three, if she de deals up another three, she'll be immune to busting. She's going to risk it. She drew a one. It's a 12. She didn't bust, which means it goes to the third player who is going to, rather than bust, take this card, which unfortunately be worth a negative point at the end of the game because all the cards of the other suits that you did not choose to be your suit at the end of the game will be negative points for you. So now we're looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pull. 11, 12, 13, 14. I bust! The whole bunch of these go into my hand. And then what we're gonna do is deal three more cards face up. And it will be Lynn's turn next. And that's really all there is to playing a game of Dedeka. We keep going around. We make these kind of turns. Uh, we push our luck on, on whether or not we're going to have to bust. Uh, and if we do, we have to pick up all of the cards. At the end of the game, when you look through your hand, let's say I chose to have uh, red be my color at the end. The, this three and two would be five points. The rest of them go face down and are negative one point. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would actually, at this point in time, if I had picked red to be my suit, that would be, or fire rather, that would be negative one point. At the end of the game, we count up points. Whoever has the highest points wins the game of Dodeca. In the event of a tie, the player with the most cards in their final hand wins and that includes the negative point cards so now we're going to head back we're going to talk about how this game plays and we're going to rate it and review it welcome back so that was how you play a game at dodeca uh, one thing i forgot to talk about in the intro was the rules uh the rules are really well written uh they have lots of nice little diagrams they have a big example of playing here even for like a small little it's, fold-out pamphlet it says what it's supposed to be oh yeah fire water air earth Ether. Ether. Ether's the fifth element, yes. So uh, the rules are really well done. I definitely want to give element the element is love, I thought. Well, that, well a according <laughs> to the French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love that movie. Anyway, all right, so Dodeca. Um, so this is a card game, obviously. Uh, it is. There's The only components in this box are cards and a rule book. That's it. So mm -hmm. it's obviously a card game. Uh, it's a, a card game where you have a draw coming out on the table and in the way that you have the draw and also how some of the cards get flipped over while scoring, it reminds me of an older game that we're a big fan of uh, and play a lot, which is Parade. And you've probably heard us talk about Parade on this channel before. Did you find that this game reminded you of Parade? Not really. I feel like it's different enough. No, it is different, yeah. But, oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah, it's different enough where it doesn't doesn't remind me of another game. Oh, okay. See now, but the, the what I mean. I when mean, I'm, there's lots of games that have a draw. I mean. Well, okay, yes, but there's also the press your luck elements with the draw. Um, there's no press your luck with parade. That's why it. Maybe it's just me then. I, I just I find it reminds me of Parade. I don't know why. Uh, I like both games. I could also be part of it, but also the strange way of the scoring and flipping some cards face down. I, it's, it doesn't play like Parade. I should say that. It doesn't feel like this game plays like that other game, but there's certain elements of it that just remind me of it. I don't really... It, it, I think it's just you. It's just me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so what, what are your thoughts on, on Dodeca? Is there anything... Um, Let's start with, are there any negatives that you want to draw attention to with Dodeca? Um, not really. It's a very simple game, but sometimes mm. 
that's what you need. Yeah. It's a simple game. Well, it makes it, uh, simple games like that, as long as they're enjoyable, are good for like icebreakers. They're good for um, light games to play before or after heavier games or uh, games to, to help get people into more modern games that don't normally play modern games because they're easier to teach, easier to learn. Um, my, I have one minor negative is that uh, specifically the two player, at two player count, um, I feel it's a little too back and forth, but that's a very minor negative. I mean, I like this at two players all right. I like it more at three, four, five, and I haven't played it at six yet, but possibly six. Um, I like it more with more players is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. I, th I think it feels more varied that way. What are your thoughts on that, on the on the various player counts? Like, where's your favorite place to play this at? Um, I think three, three or four. Okay. I didn't mind the two player, but it was just that, you know, at the end of the game, you basically end up with half the deck. Yeah. The end. <laughs> yeah. Well, you both do. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do prefer to three and four players also. Uh, so now, okay. So positives, what kind of positives you got to throw out for Dodeca? Uh, it's easy to learn. Yeah. Quick we to play. Very quick to play. We, we did kind of cover that a little bit. And it's fun. I mean, this is a simple game. This is very basic. There, it, it, I kind of feel like we're stretching it a little bit only because of how basic this game is. But basic, easy to learn, quick to play games do, like you said, they've got a place in your collection. You can play this with children. You can play this with people that haven't really gotten into many new modern games yet. You play this with them. This is a good, like, intro point, mm -hmm. you know, because it's very easy. Very easy. Um, I mean, it's it's not going to be the most mind-blowing game ever, but it's enjoyable. Um, and sometimes quick, simple fun is is fine. Okay, do you want to rate it first or shall I? I'll go first. All right, how many stars out of 10 do you give to Dodeca? Seven. Okay, I am right there with you. I'm also going to give it 7 out of 10 stars. 7 is, a, you know, we quite like this game, and when people ask it, most of the time we're going to be willing to play it. Uh, this is a... a it, it's very basic, but it, that's part of its appeal. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what's good about it. It's, it's a good intro-level game. It's a good icebreaker game. It's a good game to break up heavier games you play during the game night. So... Uh, <laughs> If you enjoyed this review and tutorial for Dodeca and you'd like to see us do more like it, be sure to give this video a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game, game on. on. But I think six is... is, oh, is hey, hey, sweetie. Okay. Gonna do another puppy blooper? Okay. Is it Nico approved? Sound test, sound test. Sound test. Nico, do you want to do a sound test? You get no? distracted by something behind us. <laughs> Dodeca. Nico. Nico, you gotta let us finish recording. There's been enough puppy bloopers for this video. This is gonna be a short video as it is. It's gonna be more puppy blooper than video. <laughs> Nico. Nico. You're being very rambunctious. Nico, you're a rambunctious child. <laughs>